Hi guys, welcome back to part two of the draw build where this episode will finish off the whole lot. Carpet eat. Um, we'll pull this back out and I'll carpet it there because I want to finish the carpet up to it so I can remove it from the top of the drawers. We'll build that little um, rack at the back, I'll show you that, that's a bit of a bonus. We'll sort of do that maybe at the end. Um, so what I'm going to start doing is stripping this back out. I've got a little trim it, I'm just going to put a bull nose, a little round, pencil round around these edges, just tidy them up. I'm not going to bother on the doors, um, I'm just going to do these edges at the top, just round them off so they're a bit nicer, and then I'll fit the locks, um, carpeting with the Evo stick, I'll show you all that, and then we'll drop him back in. Carpet wise, um, I did go spotlight, and they had some there, but it was just mainly the black stuff. But I got this DIY carpet roll from Bunnings. So pretty much all this stuff is from Bunnings. Um, this is three meters by a meter, so it's cheaper than what they had in Spotlight. This was 56 bucks of a meter wide by three meter length. So we'll see how we go. I don't know if I've got enough or not. Uh, it depends where I'll finish. If I need to go back and grab another roll, I'll grab this. I was going to go with the, the black which they did, they did have the black in Bunnings as well. But I went with the dark gray, just to match the trim on the patrol. I thought they just look a bit neater because everything else is gray. I also quite like the dark gray. So we've got the carpet, I've got the Evo stick and everything else. So we'll crack on. I'm going to cut these locks in. Um, all I've done basically at the centre of the drawer front, marked a line, measured what that gap was, it's not square, it was 10 mil. So I've sort of found the centre of that. I'm going to have this, this top piece flush with the top of there, so I don't want to have to cut a little bit of carpet around that top piece, so I'm going to have this flush with the top of there. Draw around that nice in the centre. I set this up so there's a couple of ways you can add that. Basically, chop a little notch in the top of this for this to slide in, or you can add like a little block or a little metal tab or something for it to catch on. Um, I've got a couple of different options. I think I'll probably just end up chopping a little notch underneath just for this to, because as this goes in, it'll basically slide in, hit inside the little recess lock it in there. You just want to make sure that when you release that, wherever you put this, when you release it, it'll clear the hole that's inside or your latch, whatever you've got in there. So these were a bit of paint to fit, right? But just as in notching in, you have to make a bit of a mess to get them in. So you've got this pin here that holds the latch in. You've got to like just notch around that. There is a template you can download online and then um, cut it out and give you a notch out, but I just do it, just fit it as, as I've got it. Um, I just have to put a bit of a chamfer on the bottom to get that in, but then you can see where I've cut out bits there just to clear these, put this pin that slides in <clears throat> like so. Bit of a tip for marking where you're going to cut out on there. Let's get your pencil. Just rub on the top of here just a bit of on your latch, just a bit of lead, and then 
to work out where I want that latch to sit in the recess here. I've got an adjustable square. I push them in there until it fits. Twenty five mil back from this edge. Need my mark. So I'll show you it's up the lead from the pencil on top of the latch, and then you can see underneath here. You can see it if you can see the mark. You can see the mark there, that's where the latch was rubbing and that's my 25mm line back. Right well, guys, so now we'll chuck the carpet on. I just picked up a couple of cans of this stuff. It's the um, Quick Grip. It's basically contact adhesive, but it's in a spray can, so it's much easier. You haven't got to get a spreader and apply it on both sides. If you want a permanent bond, you put it on both sides, wait till it goes tacky, 10, 15 minutes, and then apply it, and then just a firm roll it, or press it down, or clamp it down, or some stuff like that. Um, these were twenty dollars a can. Yeah, I've got two cans. It should be enough. And then obviously I've got the roll of the um, carpet, which I got from Bunnings as well. So yeah, so I'll put all the materials, um, all the tools that I've used for build this setup. I'll put all that in the description at the bottom, so you can go check that out. Um, so yeah, we'll start carpeting this up. Um, I've already done the little box down the side over there, on the left hand side over the wheel well. I've sort of built a little half toolbox in that. I'll show you that one after, a bit of a bonus. Um, yeah, we'll crack on.
So, I had a bit of an idea, I think what I'm going to do, because I haven't folded the carpet around the edge, reason being, it'll just end up peeling away at some point. So, it's better if I can just stick it on a flat, one flat straight surface. Uh, but obviously you can just see the MDF on the inside. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hit that with a bit of black paint, just to mask, just so you can't see, it'll create a bit of a shadow. Maybe, maybe even the same on this, on the drawer. Just whack a bit of black paint over that. So I'll do that now. Right guys, so this is the box that I've made for this wheel well. You can see, I'll show you it. And you see there, it's basically wasted space. I'll cable tie this up, probably down there somewhere. Wasted space in there. You can sh sort of shove blankets and stuff in. So I thought I wanted something for storing my bottles in. I basically made a half toolbox, essentially. You know the old school toolboxes with a handle, sort of like that, about half of it. And that's going to slide in there. Goes all the way back and then I'll bring it off the, off a touch. And then I'll basically fix that to this top here. And then I've put two holes in each end. Put a little hole in there, just so as then I can like put stuff in and I've got a bit of a sort of strap kind of thing on it so I just chucked a bit of carpet on the front here and then on the side brackets here and I've just put 60 mil screws in that just to hold that panel. I can still access the second battery down the back here and then obviously I've got my connection so when I put my solar on the roof and this is the charge from the alternator I can still still get my hand down the back and still drop my compressor down the side there mount him down there and then have the lead out and I'll drop the fridge slide in now screw that up get that fixed in and then I'll um, pull these nails out and start putting the carpet on the front of this Pretty much almost done. 
I've just got a little bit to do at the back, but um, it's Friday night, so I want to go in and have a beer. And um, I'll finish this off in the morning. Like I say, I've just got a tiny little bit left to do. Um, and then when it's a bit lighter, we'll um, do a full reveal, show you a bit of a walk around of it in the morning. Cheers, guys. finished so bridge slides in bridge is in that bit's lovely got the fire extinguisher there got access down there to the second battery got the handles finally put on here both sides they're neated up a bit now got the carpet on got this box in down there that's all fixed off perfect um got the tops like I say I haven't I'm going to have to put the cage in at the back there where I'll box it off. I'm not a bit undecided what to do with that yet. Um, but yeah, I can say this is all fully removable. So we just basically a bunch of screws. You can take this uh, fridge cage out and you can take this out. So all up $266. That's for the MDF, the carpet, the two cans of contact adhesive. Locks everything $266, so not bad, including the little pull handles as well. And um, so, yeah, that's it. She's she's finished, not a bad little um storage, it's quite neat with the carpet on now. So, like I say, that little box down there, I've got I've got a bit of an idea. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want to see that so i've got this this was like when i bought the car it's a bit does the job but it's a bit it's not the best i've actually got an idea of making like a foldable flip out um barn door table for that so let me know if you're interested in seeing something like that i'll i'll have a go knocking one of them up and i'll film that but yeah that's it yeah don't forget like share subscribe all that goodness really helps us out and it kind of just motivates me to keep coming up with fresh ideas and new projects. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, appreciate it.